Okay, now we're going to be solving a continuously compounding. We're still working with continuously compounding. So this, this equation right there, uh, when we have a rate that is missing. So we have to fill in all the parts. Here's our account balance. Here's our principal. And here's the number of years. So this is solved exactly like the last one. We're going to divide both sides by the two thousand. Oops, by the principal, because that's attached by multiplication. So we're going to do the inverse operation. Seventeen times r is just seventeen r. And then this is where you're like, ah, what do I do? Take the natural log of both sides, and then using the properties of logarithms, the seventeen r comes down in front. And then once that comes down in front, the natural log of E cancels to one. And then all we have to do is divide both sides by 17. And then in your calculator, type LN, it gives you the left parentheses. So 6823.98 divide 2076, right parentheses. That's very important. You'll get incorrect answers if you don't put parentheses in the correct, correct place. Divide 17 equals. And your calculator, whoops, this is what you'll see on your calculator. 0 0.06, and the 9s kind of go off indefinitely. So you have a rate of about, let's see, so that rounds to that, well, we want an interest rate, so we convert the decimal to an to a percentage. So about 7%. Okay, that's it for this one.